Welcome to the Catholic Land Movement channel on YouTube. With this first video, we'll explain briefly the historical beginnings of the movement and what is happening today in real life on our own farms and communities. Please enjoy, like, subscribe, help us grow, and build this channel by telling your friends about us. Visit our website, catholiclandmovement.info, and follow us on Twitter at Catholic Land. In the year 1891, Pope Leo XIII wrote an encyclical called Rera Novarum, wherein he denounced industrialization and modernity and called on Catholics to resist both. He'd seen the deleterious effects that these recent phenomena were having upon society and the church, and he sent out a clarion call. The Catholic land movement was founded upon this encyclical and sought to return to the fields with family homesteading. The spiritual aspect was paramount in the movement, as the Pope, scholars, clergy, and laymen recognized the harm industrialization and overcrowded, unsanitary, and immoral cities were inflicting on the Catholic faith. The need to work in God's order, the order and time of days and seasons established by God, was destroyed by factories and city life that ran 24-7. Man was now out of sync with God, and the Catholic land movement in Scotland and England sought to restore this unity in an agrarian Catholic culture. However, due to various factors such as World War II and the passing on of key promoters of the cause, men like Father Vincent McNabb, Hilaire Belloc, and G.K. Chesterton, it was the right movement at the wrong time. A century has now passed, resulting in the ripening of the fruit that is ready to be harvested. Around the globe, people are hearing and responding to the call of returning. Returning to all that has been lost, cast aside, and even perverted by man becoming his own God, the result of which is evident in the daily headlines and our societal atrophy. What is happening to heal these ills is the call of the Holy Spirit to reconnect to our roots, identity, and traditions lived out in the fullness of God's creation by re-establishing our ties to the earth to the goodness of the seasons of time, life, and to God's order, not the disorder of our modern technocratic society. It is the call to re-establish traditional Catholic communities centered around the Eucharist. Jesus is the center of the movement today, and countless followers of his are seeking his solid foundation. We have seen that our modernity has been built on sand. We have witnessed industrialization and corporate greed and invisible assets blown away on the winds of baseless change, and we long for something and someone of substance who is indeed Christ the Lord and living and working in his order, living, growing, and populating his kingdom here on earth. We know all the wrong ways to go about it. We reject them and seek to follow his way. Christ is the center, the king, and the cornerstone upon which the newly resurrected Catholic land movement is based. It is not a schismatic cult. It is non-political. We seek no money, no pay of any kind. We merely want to get the word out and the message across to a crumbling world that there is a better way. We are not philosophizing about it. We are living it and sharing with other Catholics the way we go about it. Our hope is that you establish your own communities centered around the Eucharist in an agrarian milieu and in sync with God's order. Just as the original Catholic land movement sought to bring people back from industrialized cities and the endless cycles of consumerism, we are now advocating a return to the land, a return to wholesome activities, traditions, and faith-based lifestyles. After the very surprising success of our Catholic Land Movement Conference this past summer and the exploding interest from all over the United States and even globally, it is clear that we need to get information and education out to as many people seeking it as possible. And even though we are still a small voice in a loud world, we nevertheless take the great oak tree as our mascot. It grows slowly but surely over time and becomes a strong and sturdy home for many where once nothing existed. Michael Thomas of Sharon is the founder of this current movement. He's been working on it for over a decade. He is a husband, father, gifted homesteader, cider maker, lecturer, and spokesman. Around his farm in upstate New York, others have gathered to create their own homesteads, and a traditional Catholic community has sprung up. The Sunday Latin Mass, about 30 minutes away, has become the foundation upon which this community is built. Families from literally across the United States are relocating to this area. Faith formation classes for children have started, and plans for a school are underway, as well as a daily Latin Mass. The men and women in this area have their own meetings to share skills, crafts, and build fellowship. 
Trade and farming skills are taught to the youngsters. Many other chapters similar to this one are forming around the country and around the globe. It is a movement brought about by the Holy Spirit, leading many Catholics to live traditionally on the land and in union with the magisterium of our one holy Catholic and apostolic church. On this channel, we plan on covering a variety of important topics that people have asked us about, such as Homesteading 101, Self-Sufficiency, Catholic Family Traditions, the importance of building community, updates of Catholic Land Movement conferences, and workshops and videos of various talks in various parishes. We look forward to your comments, additional questions, and your own stories about how you are living the Catholic Land Movement in your own community. May God richly bless you, Saint Michael protect you, and Mary shield you under her mantle.